Hello people. Today let's do a inch worm. At first take the cardboard sheets uh, of length uh, 2 inch cross 6 inch of this size approximately. So take two of them to which we are supposed to connect two motors to each cardboard. Totally you need four motors. So make sure your motor, the shaft comes outside, uh, which pops outside, like this. The shaft of the motor should pop outside, like this. Okay. So using a double side gum tape, Apply the outside gum tape here like this. After that, to the other motor, you do the same. So before you connect the other motor. Just stop this gap with a lot of gum tape or the double sided gum tape. So after stopping so much, then remove the double sided gum tape of the other motor and neatly insert mm -hmm. it. Just make sure your shaft is straight. Take a paper tape and start rubbing them up. Do the same thing for the other one also. Let's close look. After doing this, you're supposed to connect them right in the middle. You're supposed to connect them right in the middle. So take a paper tape again. Start connecting them. them like this outside supposed to connect it you bend them you bend them like this then start connecting using a gun gun tape So that they are connected and they are strong and then make the construct very strong. You can now take two balls. Tie the middle of the screw. Okay. Then you construct
This this arrangement is basically done to avoid the robot to go to this position. Once the robot goes to this position, it will not stand up. So you should avoid uh, that position by locking it in this position, the extreme this position. Okay. So in order to lock this, take one more one more screw and measure it here. It will come here. Then lock it. Then tie it. The contract position, this should be the release position, so, and it gets locked up in that. So these screws, uh, put the double side ground tape, and lock them up. Now, take your D-box and place it here, place it, place it inverted so that all the motor uh, cords are reachable to the motor pins. Place it on the side, don't take it off here. You take your batteries, connect it to a serial connector, and then place the batteries here and connect to the batteries, battery socket of the B box. Okay, one more piece of the double sided gun tape. Then place it on the other side of the B box. So once this is done, connect all the uh, motors to these pins 1, 2, 3, 4, not these but G1, G2, G3, G4 individual pins. Then take four wheels and start attaching the motors. Now let's do the programming for the inchworm. Before we start programming, go to the settings to do some pre-settings. So browse for your G port and make it output PWM. So all the pins of G port make it PWM. And why we make PWM? Because uh, we want to control the speed because we want our inchworm to go slower. Then drag our output component to start and enable the G port and make sure the two motors which are connected to the front part of the inchworm to G1 and G2. So and run it a little slower. So make it 70%. G1 and G2 make it 70%. 
and G3 and G4 which are connected to the uh, rear part or the back part of the inchworm make it zero okay then add a weight component of uh, one three fourth of a second that is 750 milliseconds uh, to the output then again drag output component and this time run the G3 and G4 that is the rear part of the inchworm at 70% speed while the G1 and G2 that is the front part make it stationary or make it stop again copy paste the weight component of the 3 fourth of a second to the output and uh, your program is ready connect the B box to your computer then upload this program save it 